the Mayo Clinic. The world's number one clinic. Home of the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine. Hello, my name is Elias Saba. And my name is Cynthia Chueya. And we are the disembodied voices that will accompany your journey. I'm Marenna. The Mayo Clinic. Here, students transform from wide-eyed pre-meds into wise physicians full of love and competence. Observe this transformation. Mayo wear. No white coats, no clear symbol of authority. Only one's professional best. A stethoscope and the dogma tattooed onto your eyeballs. The needs of the patient come first. But unlike many other ecosystems on our planet, one is not simply born at the Mayo Clinic. One must first choose to come here. Which begs the question, why? Why do these students tolerate the cold, cold, cold winter every single year? Welcome to Planet Mayo, and today we shall discover the eternal question of why the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine. The newborn grazes the school grounds, contemplative, sheepish, looking for support in what she thinks would be a cutthroat medical bloodbath. She looks around for help. Look! Approaching from the east, a wind filled with dedicated faculty, loving second years, and seasoned physicians. Hey, Claire. Hey, Claire. How does everyone know my name? Welcome to the Having a small class science means you're in an environment where you can talk to each other. Let's see what that's like. Hey, hey, wait. How do you feel about having a small class? It's great. On top of the community, Mayo Clinic School of Medicine is known to be one of the happiest medical schools in the country. We can observe students using their free gym membership. They can then frolic in the free gym of nature. The first years are given many chances to stretch their wings and roll out their quads to keep their lives healthy and strong. Here we can see students being given grants to simply enjoy Rochester and be well. Together, they can escape the room or cook for picnics or learn how to hip hop or climb at a climbing gym. Wellness is not just a buzzword at Mayo. It's put into practice and students really embrace it. A group of Mayo students have just emerged from the anatomy cocoon. After weeks of intense work around cadavers, they were exhausted, but prepared to go immediately back to work. They look for more work, but they cannot find it. Why? Where is it? Why is the work not appearing? Guys. The students realize they have a week of break, a week, a whole week to explore other forms of medicine before continuing with different Hello. classes. Rohan is here learning how to draw blood. Alexis is enjoying the grand outdoors in the wilderness selected. Here's Priel 
with funding from Mayo, going to the Dominican Republic to learn about how to administer healthcare in underserved areas. And here's James, shadowing a pediatric urologist. After hatching from their cocoon, these students are refreshed, smarter, wiser, and have a better idea of their career trajectory. These are selectives, only at the medical school here at the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine. It would be negligent to not talk about the incredible academics that make up the curriculum in the world of Mayo. Let's take a look at Irena, about to make an incredible discovery. Ever wonder who wrote your histology textbook? It was our professor! Whoa! wonder where you're going to find the world expert who revolutionized the study of long QT syndrome? Whoa! In addition to learning from the best faculty for their first two years, medical students then learn from the best clinicians in the world for rotations. Unlike other ecosystems, where rotations are a year-long hazing, Mayo treats its rotating students as a true part of the team. No hazing, no grunt work, just learning. Mental health and wellness remain the highest priority, and students receive a far more comprehensive education than other hospitals can provide. They set off into the world ready to take residency by storm with good grades, step scores, and cases behind them. So welcome to the family at the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine. We'd love to have you and hope to see you next year. Thank you.